Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> so um we stopped from yesterday we stopped on this one. Exercise two. Yeah. And then exercise two. Phrases for describing what you do. Uh, the last time we discussed before we end the class yesterday was this part. Yes. <clears throat> now this is for today. So okay. just like yesterday, please repeat after me. Okay. So I work for a big, small company. I work for a big, small company. I work in at a uh, or an. Mm -hmm. I'm working at a. Okay, I'm a. I'm a. Then I'm responsible for. I'm responsible. Responsible for. I'm in charge of people. Yeah, I'm in charge of people. I'm good at. I'm good at. I have a university degree. I have a university degree. I, I just remember we discussed this yesterday, sorry. Uh, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, I remember this word. I'm responsible for. So, Okay, so let's have pictures and questions. So, um, a pick uh, any picture and then describe uh, any, any of the four. And then I would okay. I would try to guess just like what we did uh, two days ago. <clears throat> so uh, you would be using uh, some uh, some sentences like this. Uh, he works for a big company. He works full time. He has a university degree. But you can also add uh, he or she is wearing let's say a blue shirt or mm -hmm. something like that. He looks smart. He ah, looks okay. uh, furious, something like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin. Um, picture one. Uh, uh, don't tell me which uh, picture, okay, uh, which number of picture, because I'm going to guess which picture uh, you are uh, describing. It's okay, okay it's okay, um, it's okay. Uh, she looks serious, mm -hmm. and um, she works in a, she works for a medicine company, mm -hmm. and and she has a university degree, mm -hmm. and she's wearing. Uh, uh, white coat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's uh, picture two. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Next. Uh, um, 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 he is a business person mm -hmm. and he's wearing a suit mm -hmm. and tie. Mm -hmm. Also, he, he looks like serious mm -hmm. because he is sharing, uh, he's uh, uh, looking at his phone. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, he works for a big company. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Okay, so it's picture one. Yes. Okay. Uh, next one is... Um, um, She is a 
she's a purse man and mm -hmm. he is responsible for uh other uh, other uh, some um She is responsible for uh, uh, one of the department of the police. Mm -hmm. uh, she she works full, full time, mm -hmm. and and she is good at uh, guessing. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so that's picture four. Yes. Okay. And then, well, there's no other picture, <laughs> but picture three. <laughs> so if you're gonna guess, uh, if you're gonna describe picture three, then obviously, okay. it's uh, obvious that you know I have to choose picture three. <laughs> so let's uh, skip that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So. Um, Kosei, we are done now with our exercise two. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, let's proceed to our dialogue under exercise three. Yes. Okay, so, well, this is a dialogue li like what we did yesterday. Please choose one character first. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, examiner. Okay, so I'll be Yanting. Okay, let's begin. Okay, where do you work? <clears throat> I work for a big company. I'm a computer programmer and I'm responsible for a team of about eight people. Oh, uh, why did you choose that job? Many people think that people who choose jobs in IT are only interested in high salaries, but in fact, I chose this job because I like building things. Writing code is just another way of making something like an engineer or an architect. What do you like about it? <clears throat> You've probably heard that startup tech companies are really relaxed and everyone just plays table tennis all the time. But actually, although we are quite relaxed, we do work really hard. One of my favorite things about my job is also that we don't have a dress code, so I can wear anything I want to work. <clears throat> okay, so this time, Kosei, let's switch mm -hmm. roles. This time you will be mm -hmm. Yan Ting and I will be the examiner. Okay. Okay, where do you work? I work for a big company. I'm a computer programmer and I'm responsible for a team of about eight people. Why did you choose that job? Uh, many people think that people who chose who choose jobs in IT are only interested in high salaries, but in fact, I chose this job because I like building things. Writing code is just another way of making something, like an engineer or architect. Why, uh, what do you like about it? Uh, you've probably heard that startup tech companies are really relaxed and everyone just plays table tennis all, ta all the time. But actually, although we are quite relaxed, we do work really hard. One of my favorite things about my job is also that we don't have a dress code, so I can wear anything I want to work. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we are done now. Do you have any questions or clarifications regarding our dialogue? Um, no? Okay. okay none, none so far? Yeah. Okay. So since uh, you do not have any questions, 
I will be the one to ask questions based from the article that, oh no, based from the dialogue that we just uh, read. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so for our first question, um, hold on. What does Yan Ting do for a job? Uh, Yan Ting is a compu computer programmer. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, Yan Ting is a computer programmer and responsible for a team of eight people. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so why did Yan Ting choose that job? Uh, cause uh, Yan Ting uh, likes speeding things. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Yes. He said that I choose this job because I like building things. <clears throat> Number three, what does Yan Ting like about his job? Um, uh, uh, she likes about the dress code because uh, Yan Ting's company is uh, in and team's company don't have rules for dress code, so uh, he can wear anything. Okay, correct. So one of he said that one of my favorite things about my job is also that we don't have a dress code, so I can wear anything I want to work. <clears throat> okay, so Kosei, um, mm -hmm. we are done now. Do you have any mm -hmm. clarifications before we proceed to our next exercise? No. Okay. All right. So, okay. For our next exercise, just like what we did yesterday, I um, mm -hmm. know uh, you did yesterday or the first time. Um, yes. Please read everything and mm -hmm. make sure to answer all the missing words. Mm -hmm. Okay. While reading. Okay. Where do you work? I work. Uh, full time as a journalist. I'm in charge of our team. Uh, uh, then, um, I'm responsible for the front page news. Why did you cho choose the job? I have a degree. Mm -hmm. Degree. I have a degree. Okay, I'll help you out with that. In. In, I have a degree in journalism. Journalism. Always been good at writing. Okay. So it seems like a good choice for me. What do you like about it? For people who haven't worked in journalism, it may seem seem it may seem like it's a really hard job with lot of stress and long shift. Uh, but actually, but the truth, but the truth, okay. But the truth of the matter is, it's fun and very rewarding. Okay. Okay. So, so you got all the correct answers. Number one, time. Two of three, four. In uh, sorry, three, four, four in five mm -hmm. at six seam. Seven, but okay. All right, so we are done now, Kosei. Um, is there anything unclear to you, or is everything clear? Everything clear. <clears throat> okay, let's have the exercise five, our language practice. Okay, so let's have the useful language first okay. so Yan Ting and Laura use these phrases to show both sides of an argument listen and okay so uh, please repeat after me okay? okay so to introduce an argument uh, there are different ways of doing it uh, mm. first is many people think many people think okay You've probably heard that. You've probably heard that. 
it may seem like it may seem like okay and then to show another side of an argument you say but in fact but in fact but actually but actually but the truth of the matter is but the truth of the matter is okay so those are um, our different languages to start mm -hmm. an argument and to show another side of an argument okay next uh, let's have the question part okay so re uh, Kose, remember all these um, sentences okay because you are going to apply those mm -hmm. things when you answer these questions okay okay so number one where do you work uh i work i work at uh information counter mm -hmm. uh, uh, many people think that it's kind of relaxed mm -hmm. but actually uh, there are other things to work mm -hmm. uh, and and many people uh come to the information counter mm -hmm. and ask a lot okay all right you did a great job because you were able to use this one many people think that our job is kind of relaxed so that's how you apply it okay number two why did you choose that job uh Um, are uh, um at the first time, first time was like a uh, uh, selling things to people, mm -hmm. but in fact, me but but in fact, mm -hmm. uh, I want to use the language. And use and have a conversation with foreigners. Hmm. So I I switch a job, and now I work at information counter. Okay. All right. So, or maybe you can add something like. Um, I work as an IT, but the truth of the matter is I now have or I switch to another job right mm -hmm. now, something like that. But uh, you did a great job as well with that because you're still able to use uh, some of the sentence sentences mm -hmm. to, to show argument. Okay, number three, what do you like about it? What do you like about your work? Uh, uh, it seems like a, um, like a, um, just uh, giving information to people, our sightseeing spots, uh, but actually, uh, I uh but uh actually i like uh uh having conversation with people from overseas and uh, talk about another things mm -hmm. like uh uh like uh their countries you mean yes. culture, like their culture? Yeah, culture and food. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so that's great. So you were able to um, highlight what you really like about your job. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what is the most difficult part of your job?
uh, uh, it may seem like uh, it's a easy easy job, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but the truth of the matter is, it's really uh, hard to learn to learn some sightseeing sports, some information. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have to I have to uh, get some information mm -hmm. and tell the tell people about correct information. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so you were able to cite um, some points on mm -hmm. of how difficult your job is, especially when it comes to. Uh, imparting information to people and I I also heard that you use this one it may seem like an easy job yes uh, so again you were able to apply um, the argumentative language mm -hmm. okay so Kosei let's maximize our time let's have mm -hmm. exercise six okay okay so just uh, repeat after me okay I'll have mm -hmm. to think about that I have to think about that. So, what you're asking me is... So, what you're asking me is... That's a very interesting question. I've never really considered it before. That's a very interesting question. I've never really considered, considered it before. Okay, that's a difficult question. That's a difficult question. Okay, so you have to apply this again with our following questions, okay? Mm. Do you get along with your co-workers? Why or why not? Uh, uh, that's a difficult question because uh, uh, I started working from three three months ago, mm -hmm. so uh, so um, I've never really considered it before. Okay, so that's great. You were able to use this um, phrase. That's a difficult question, and then you follow it through with um, backup answers. Okay, what would you like to change about your place of work? Uh, I would like to change the uh, change the um, computer because mm -hmm. uh, it's like a, a kind of old things mm -hmm. outdated. Ah, so I have to think about this. Ah, okay. So instead of saying old, you can say outdated. But that's fine. Uh, the computers are outdated. Okay. Okay. But that's fine. Because you were still able to use it, I'll have to think about that. Or I'll have mm -hmm. to think about it. Okay, so what was your first day? At your current job, like? Uh, that's a difficult question because uh, I was really nervous. Mm -hmm. So I I didn't remember things what, what I did. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, that's great um, because, you know, when we had our first day of job, we can no longer remember some things. So you, you, you use the uh, so far right answer for that. That's a difficult question. <laughs> and number four, if you could have any job, what would you choose and why? Uh, I, would, uh, I have to think about this 
because uh, 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 two years later, I I have to choose the job mm -hmm. in the future, so I will choose some uh, companies like traveling to overseas. All right, that's great. So yeah, we just finished everything right on time. But um, next, Kosei, uh, if you're if you're still going to book my class, I have a lot of things to teach you about this question part. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you book my class next time, I'm going to discuss some things about this. Okay. okay. But since we no longer have enough time, uh, okay. hopefully we can discuss this uh, on another day. Okay. okay. So anyway, Kosei. Um, thank you so much for booking my class and mm -hmm. uh, thank you for trusting me as your educational provider for IELTS and I hope you have learned a lot and you enjoyed our discussion. So as I always tell you, eagerness in learning English works on high level so stay focused and interested in learning English, okay? Okay. Okay, so bye for now. Have a great day ahead. Okay. See you.